Hey everybody, today we're in Blackville, South Carolina and we're going to visit Healing Springs. It is known for its purposes of healing, its water to come straight out the ground. And we did not bring any cups to sample it today, so we won't be doing that. But I'm gonna see what we can see and then we'll move on. So if y'all are ready, I'm ready. So let's go. Okay, so today we're going to Healing Springs. Here says God's Acre Healing Springs. According to tradition, the Indians reverence the water for its healing properties as a gift from the Great Spirit. They led the British wounded to their secret waters during the American Revolution and the wounded were healed. This historical property has been deeded to God for public use. Please revere God by keeping it clean. Here's the water. It just pours out, and a lot of people can make it and get whatever they want. There's another one over there. says open your hearts behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door i will come in to him and dine with him and he with me and that's revelation 320. Says, greatest love of all. There are many degrees of love, but the greatest and purest love is the love that take, took place at the cross. We love God because He first loved us, and when nothing else could help, He love lifted us. Love God, love heals and conquers all. The best of these is love, and that's 1 Corinthians 13 13. So this talks about Healing Springs, says God's Acre. By tradition, Healing Springs got its name during the Revolutionary War. In 1781, after a bloody battle at nearby Windy Hill Creek, four wounded Tories sent inland from Charleston by General Manister the Butcher. Tarleton were left in the care of two comrades who had orders to bury them when they died. Luckily, Native Americans found them and took them to their secret, sacred hill in the springs. Six months later, the Charleston garrison was astonished by the reappearance of the six men. All were strong and healthy. Ownership of the springs passed from the Native Indian tribes who revered them to the Indian trader, Nathaniel Walker, who brought them with corn. The site passed through several hands until it was acquired by L.P. Boyston. On July 21st, 1944, he deeded the land and springs to God. The waters by anal analysis are exceptionally pure and contain helpful minerals. People today, as in the past, believe they are truly healing springs. And then if you get here at the right time, you can also buy produce. They set up a little produce stand out here. So out here... They have this marker. It says, God's Acre Healing Springs deeded to Almighty God to be used by the sick and afflicted by L.P. Loot Boyston, July 21st, 1944. The most precious piece of earth I have ever owned. And then 
as you can see the springs are back there and that's a happening place but it's not too busy right now because we got here right before 9 a.m and that's how the marker looks from the front dad found a bottle that we had in the car so i think he's getting some so just disregard how i open the video I don't have any adverts, that's the main thing. You never know what that stuff you're putting in there. You don't know what is water at all. I'm on seedy water out in the country. It's kind of expensive. I'd rather have my well water. I always thought my well water better than that seedy water. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to get Dad to try the water first. Oh, Not after you drunk out the jug like that. Well, there's no way to do slug so, it down. So you can have it. How was it? it tastes pretty good. All right, so if, he, if it heals him, I'll have to update the video and let you know. Oh. If it's the case, I need to take a bath in it, I'll tell you that. Okay, so now we've made our way over to the Hitland Springs Country Store. And this is out in front of it. It says, God's Acre Hilland Springs. By tradition, Hilland Springs got its name during the Revolutionary War in 1781 after a bloody battle at nearby Windy Hill Creek. Four wounded Tories sent inland from Charleston by General Bannister, the butcher, Tarleton, were left in the care of two comrades who had orders to bury them when they died. Luckily, Native Americans found them and took them to their secret sacred hill and spring. Six months later, the Charleston garrison was astonished by the reappearance of the six men. All were strong and healthy. So basically, the sign says exactly what I already read, but I'm going to read it just in case you missed it the first time. So it says, Ownership of the springs passed from the native Indian tribes who revered them to an Indian trader, Nathaniel Walker, who bought them with corn. The site passed through several hands until it was acquired by L.P. Boyston. On July 21, 1944, he deeded the land in the springs to God. The waters by analysis are exceptionally pure and contain helpful minerals. People today, as in the past, believe they truly are healing springs. And that sign was rated in 1998 by the Frank and Lucy Hartzog Foundation and the Blackville Area Historical Society. It says they have sandwiches, lemonade, sweet tea, soda, snacks, and hot dogs in there. Oh, that is adorable. Daisy Duck. So they're open. Monday through Saturday from 9 to 3 and they're closed on Sunday. They do have a little restaurant in there too, but it's too early to eat right now because we just had breakfast. Okay, so in there, I bought these little lemon cookies. I love anything and everything lemon. And then I also bought these lemon drops. And also, I've never tried this particular one. But they also had green apple. So that was really, really exciting. Just couldn't help herself. She had to get the soup cozy. And it says this handmade cotton soup cozy can be placed under your bowl of soup for heating in the microwave. It is handmade and machine washable. Just wash as usual. Reshape into a bowl and air dry. Please avoid using fabric softener. Enjoy. And she got a beautiful design because I love animals. So that is a beautiful design. I was wondering what I got to do with the other fabric. I yeah, that's pretty cool. Try I like the lemon snaps. You got fruits in there. Oh, that's pretty good. You want to try lemon snap, Dad? No, no, no. Give me one. Those are really good. They were definitely worth every penny. Okay, just disregard what I said previously in the video. Mom and I have came back. It's about a week later, so we're actually coming back to try to water because I was like, how can I say this is a true video if we don't actually try to water? Dad tried to water, and I don't know if it helped him yet or not. So 
<laughs> mom and I came back. It's only a two hour drive. So we're gonna get some water. And if this water works, I'll, I'll come back. It. Exactly, because I got a lot of aches and pains myself. <laughs> so mom and I decided to come back so we can try the water. I think that one right there's probably got the best flow. Which, right there. Yeah. Good morning. I got some here too. Yep. I got some here too. Go ahead and put them back in the bag. 
so we can go ahead and put them back in the bag first. Gonna get the ones that we're gonna sample while we're here. Okay, so we went and got the water. Got it in our cups right here. So we're gonna try it on video to see how it is. And like I say, if it works, we'll come back. It tastes like normal water. It does taste like well water. Yeah. That's that's how the water used to taste at the house. Yeah. It's good water. We might, but we might have to come get this instead of what we drink at the right. house. Right. <laughs> at least it's clean as yeah, it does It doesn't taste like chlorine, so. It's good water. That is good. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. if, if the water had a house taste like this, I would drink it all the time. Yeah, it's, it's actually it good. It don't we taste might, like We this. might have to start coming and get this all the time. Yeah. As you can see, it's free flowing. So. But it's good. Yes. You, you done? It's got my seal of approval. <laughs> okay, so I like water so much, I actually went and refilled our cups up before we leave. Because this is, this is better than the water at the house. I'll tell you that. So therefore, <laughs> we know what we're going to do with all our plastic bottles from now on. We're just going to save them and come back over here. Like I said, it's only two hours away from the house. So it's not that bad of a drive. It's like a trip to Charleston or a trip to Columbia. Mm -hmm. It's good to water. Yes, I am pleasantly surprised. I guarantee you, if it was us, us if it be in here, it would be delicious. It probably would. And I thought about doing that too, but I was like, no, I don't want to tank the water for the video. <laughs> with our with our city water that we have <laughs> but it's good water yes I, I i am happy with this i had my doubts but it does taste good it does it does honestly because it says god's acre healing springs we've actually been here several times over yeah. the years never tried the water i was always kind of afraid to but apparently people come here all the time because last week whenever we were here they had a wagon taking the water back to the vehicle and they were just bottles and bottles and bottles we might have to end up being like that but i won't have a wagon i just have to put it in the back of my car <laughs> so today we had trash bags and just a few bottles so now we know to save them and we'll come back so i don't even have to ask you would you do this again yes yes i'll come here again get just to get the water yeah exactly it's not that far from where we live nope. And I know for a lot of people, two hours might be a good distance. But for us, that's just another day trip for us. We'll go anywhere. But y'all already know that by now if you watch the channel. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. It makes mom happy. And it makes me happy if she's happy. And if you like the video, you can like it. Comment, share, whatever your heart desires. And, and if you be watching this this video before I get to see you. The water is good and I did get you some. She's talking about her very best friend. So Oh that's... my god she got a big, big bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and if you're ever in the area you can come to Hill and Springs yourself come as well. Get you a couple of Yes. The park, land is park alley. the land is deeded to God so therefore you will not be trespassing. You cannot trespass on God's property. So that's it for this one. So toodaloo. toodaloo. And come have some water before I forget. I'm not completely gone yet. I'm going to throw in some bonus footage here at the very end of a beautiful drive that is on the road behind Barnwell State Park. It is a tree-lined road and you don't get to see those anymore and we just think it's beautiful. So hope you enjoy that. That is how things used to look back many, when she was many, young many years ago because since i've been living they like cut all the trees down it's very rare to actually see any trees above the road anymore so because hope you enjoy that when i was growing up the road that i lived on to get where i needed to go the trees was across the road both sides and you said it reminded you whenever you went on that road of how the yeah, road looked yeah so hope you enjoy that little bit of extra footage because i did record that last week whenever we were staying at Barnwell State Park because now you know that video was two weeks in progress so 
because <laughs> you could tell that by the change in the clothes everything dad's no longer with us he's at the house so therefore you know this took two trips to this area to make this video and that's why i say a two-hour trip is absolutely nothing for us we'll do this for fun so up in a car but and drive. we will be back for some of that water so hope you enjoy the footage that you're getting ready to see if you're even still watching at this point but anyway here it so comes. This is an absolutely beautiful road to travel down. It's got all the old trees beside the road. It's like how roads used to look many years ago before they had to cut everything down. It's so gorgeous. So on this road, it is so beautiful. They always decorate this truck for different seasons. So right now it's got all kind of flowers in the back of it. But sometimes they have pumpkins in the back. I think they have a Christmas tree in the back around Christmas time. It's really pretty. 